So right. uh, my question is, uh, do you guys think that technical analysis is important? Because uh, I, I know it's a huge debate between uh, yes. investors and <laughs> uh, like traders, that. right? So my, my point of view is that uh, technical analysis can help you enter positions or exit positions, but mm -hmm. uh, it's not something you should rely on, right? I agree with you. You're 100% right. And uh, because, uh, look, if, if you were to buy just randomly into, into any stock, right, at any point, you don't know if you're getting a good deal. And, and even me and Carlos were looking at the Tesla chart and we were saying, look, Tesla's a better buy under 180. Remember we were talking about this? Mm -hmm. That it, when it was in the 200s, 220, 250, whatever, even end phase. We're like, we're not buying it. We're waiting till the technicals hit a certain level. So absolutely use technicals to know when to sort of arrange to buy. But doesn't mean it gives you the bull thesis, right? You still need your, your, your it, thesis for why you're buying here's it. Here's how you look at it, right? If I just showed you what, Tesla, let's say Tesla stock price is today. It's $180. And I say, is it a good deal? You're going to go, hmm, well, look at the market cap, look, whatever. But if I tell you that yesterday it was $500 a share, you'd be like, holy shit, it's, it's a bargain. But if I told you that yesterday it was 90, like look at NVIDIA, right? If you were looking at NVIDIA two days ago. So it's not, it, it's not like, uh, it's important in the sense to understand the context of how it got to that price. But it's not necessarily going to tell you what happens in the future. It's not a crystal mm. ball. You know, Vitaly mm. and I did a video where... I agree with Stephen Mark Ryan on a lot of what he says, especially about Tesla, but I disagree with him. He he shits on technical analysis and he pushes his audience away from it. And he, we our argument was exactly what you said. It is a tool that lets you understand to, um, that can give you um, information to get a good entry point. That's literally all we're talking about. It's not a crystal ball. You don't know where it's going to go in the future, but you're just saying, is this a good time to buy or not? If it's been heavily oversold, maybe it's a good time to buy. If it's if it's been uh, over, overbought, maybe it's if not. It's a, under the two hundred day and yeah, the things like RSI. that. Right? Moving averages. This is not like the RSI is you know, thirty. You know. So I, I get really pissed off when people shit on technical analysis as if we're saying by looking at the charts you know what it's going to be tomorrow and we we have this sort of uh, clairvoyance. It's just not what it is. It's a it's a narrative that's pushed on on people and it's it's actually bullshit and it, it's uh it's disingenuous to the audience. And here's where it's wrong because if you looked at the technical analysis of Nvidia even yesterday. You would have missed a massive trade. That is correct. Yeah, yeah I, I did a video on uh, Nvidia, and I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to predict the stock. I'm just saying that the technicals are just, it's, it's just not a good time to buy. And uh, I did a video on Joseph Carson recently. He bought uh, into it at 448, and right now it's at 413. And when I did uh, look at the technicals when it was at 448, the RSI was around uh, 70, which meant that. Really? Uh, he bought it when the RSI well, was at he, he doesn't look at the yeah. technicals, by the way. He buys on yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, the reason you're buying into a company is that you do your due diligence. That's true. He a, bought Netflix at $700. I forgot. Yeah, yes. I, 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 I said that, uh, well, uh, Joseph Carson was, well, he, he kind of shat on uh, technical analysis. So I tried to not, not say defending it, but just trying to reason that technical analysis is important. In, no, no, he's wrong uh, about trade. that. Yeah. And uh and the way he makes his money now is because he makes forty thousand dollars on Patreon. So let's face oh, it. Oh hell yeah, he he's hustling. I, I'm not I'm not hating on him. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I, I want I want a, his forty thousand dollars on Patreon. Yeah. 